God damn it, Stoke. We've been at war for a while now. <laughs> That's what I mean. We're prisoners. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll... <laughs> Litrix we'll, gives you uh... a thumbs up, Stolgig. <laughs> yeah. We're on the same page, Litrix. <laughs> I guess we'll no continue... Mercy for the enemy. <laughs> continue sneaking down to see what we can see. Yep. You continue down. Um, and the hammering is coming from down here. It's getting, you know, louder the closer you get to it. Yeah. But, uh, and Lickrix tells that, you that okay. this is where the and is the damn, entrance your damn gone bad man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what does Lickrix say? Um. Where the sounds are coming from is also where the um, entrance to the lower level would be. Can we double back and investigate the rest of this floor before continuing here? All right. Might as well. They're working. They'll be working for a while. I imagine so. Whoop. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Do we dare open this gate? If you open it, I'll shoot. <laughs> Not you, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, um... I want to go up to the gate and listen to see if I can hear anything. Alright. Give me a perception check. It's also, you notice that this gate is, um a lot less sturdy. Like, it's... It's made out of wood. Stolgek could probably just, you know, go through it. He could probably just walk oh, yeah. through it at this point. Yeah. Um, you don't hear mm -hmm. anything, really. Okay. Um, is there any dampness to it? No. Surprisingly enough, it is, uh, dry. Dry wood. Okay. Uh, well, I'll sort of look at people, and assuming no one protests, I will uh, start to turn the winch. Winch away, All pardon. right. <clears throat> winch away. Oh, God. <clears throat> What'd you call me? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> A long, narrow room stretches beyond the gate, with four pillars equally spaced north to south. Oh, God. To your right, along the east wall, runs a shallow trow cut into the stone floor. This channel is stained and traces of a brown liquid shine wetly. To your left, along the west wall, dozens of manacles hang from the wall at waist height. And at the very end of the room, you notice a uh, human on the floor, just sort of slumped, slumped down. I will carefully approach said human um and checking for traps along the way of course or anything no that might hurt me <laughs> <laughs> i don't like getting hurt funnily enough really <laughs> mm. not a fan can't recommend it mm, strange um you approach there's nothing here that could hurt you, uh, aside from maybe hurting your feel feelings or your sense of justice. Um, huh? You approach the human. He is extremely thin. Um, you can hear his breathing is um, like very heavy and raspy. And he seems to be asleep or unconscious. or He doesn't take any notice of you approaching him. Yeah. Uh, does he look particularly hurt or anything? Um, I mean, he's... He doesn't have, like, any particular wounds. Um, he more looks like a mistreated slave, basically, that has been here for a while. And that is just generally in a bad shape. Like, he has bruises. Yep. He's very much malnourished. Um, okay. he's not doing so, good. Yeah, but, like, so if I was to, like, lay on hands, it wouldn't really do anything. Give me a medicine check. 
I thought about training in that, but I didn't. <laughs> Alright. Oh, didn't do too bad anyway. Um, <laughs> you look at him a bit closer and you realize that he's very much dying. Like, you can, if you give him some lay on hands, it might make it a bit better for him, but he's not gonna last much longer. He's very much reaching the end. Okay, I will uh, pump him with however many uses of lay on hands seems appropriate. To All right, um, I'm not gonna actually. Yeah, I'm not gonna actually make you use your lay on hands. It's fine. You give him some some healing magic, and you feel you you can hear like his his breathing gets a bit a bit better, a bit lighter, less labored, and he he opens his his eyes and he he looks at you and he seems confused but he says who hello hello Hello? is it time to work yet no we're we're not with the sahagun oh oh you have to get out of here this this place is a death trap you you have to run Get, get out get out What's your name, friend? Uh, Elmo. I'm, I'm a wizard. <laughs> I'm gonna insight real quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's the wizard doing down here? <laughs> What's Elmo right, doing Elmo? here? <laughs> <laughs> Elmo's a real name. It's not just I was thinking about changing the name, but then I decided to leave it. This is what the book has decided this guy should be called, and I'm sticking to it. It's great! <laughs> I tried so hard not to laugh. I can't laugh. picture anything but Elmo. <laughs> Elmo in a wizard's hat and robe. I just um... <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh no. He, you get the feeling that a he's not lying, and b he wouldn't even really have the strength to lie. Like he doesn't, yep. all the you know mental capacity of lying. Yeah. He doesn't seem to be quite here. Can I can I lean what down and maybe give him some food? Um, he sort of weakly pushes your hand away and he's like, no, no, I don't want to. Are you not hungry? hungry? You look rather starved. It's cheese. He, he shakes his head and he says, you, you have to get out before they get you too. They, they took us, they got all my comrades. You have Run! Don't worry They'll about it. We'll kill you, you out. We, we can help you out of here. Let, let, let me... I uh, want to look to see if the manacles look like we could break them. He's not manacled. Um, oh, he's just sitting there. He's just... You get the feeling that even if he tried, he wouldn't be able to move. All right. It looks like they just chucked him in a corner and we're like, yeah, he'll die eventually. You know? Right. We, we can help you out of here, if you'll let us. There's... there's no escape. They'll, they'll take you and they'll, they'll kill you. I don't think you've met my barbarian oh. friend. <laughs> Should we tell him that I'll kill him? <laughs> Stole gay cut. <laughs> go sit in the, I was with go a sit barbarian. in the corner. <laughs> I was with a barbarian, he's dead now. <laughs> They... We've left uh, quite a few Sahagwan bodies behind us right now, having come in this place. We may have a chance to get you out of here. There's no escape. There's no getting out of here. We all die in here. Do I get the impression that there's something eff external affecting his mind, or is it just sort of the... the nature no. of his circumstance he's just you get the feeling that his mind is just 
muddled and broken. The, he isn't really affected by magic or anything. He's just... Yep. He's been in here for an amount of time. Um, and it's not... It's not been good on him. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah, but... Stolgek, the corner that you went to is where they have um, uh, their sanitary facilities. Which are surprisingly clean, but it is still the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it all the more appropriate what I'm about to type. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you cry while you're eating cheese. Good. In the toilet. Uh... Good. In the toilet, yep. I crouched on the toilet. While I'm eating cheese and crying. <laughs> Does it look like I can help this guy up? Um, I mean, he's not going to be able to walk. So if you want to do anything with him, you will have to carry him. He, I yeah. mean, he's really light, probably, because, you know. Yeah, quite malnourished. Malnourished, not that tall. Yeah. I mean, look, worst comes to us, we just throw him in a room. <laughs> Before we walk in. <laughs> it is a pretty method. How, how long did it take us to get here again? Um, with all the shenanigans of like, you know, being stealthy and slow, like yes. half an hour. But you can walk back in like ten minutes, five minutes, if you hurry. Okay. It's not gonna take right you back too to long. the. Back to the Lizardfolk village thing. Oh, back to the Lizardfolk vill village. Um, like yeah. three hours, I think it was. Three, four uh, hours. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you oh, think? So, yeah, I'll, I'll turn to the other. T we can't leave him here, but we can't abandon the mission either. Yeah, this guy, you you know, he's beyond help. There's nothing you can do. He yeah. is going to die, and it's going to be relatively soon. Well, even with the magic and food. Yes. Oh. I I hate to say it, but uh, but maybe it's best just to end it for him. He is beyond help that you can provide right now. If you had more powerful magic, maybe. Um, but no. Mind. As it stands, he's. How long does it look like he's got? Maybe a day. My my help was to kill the man. Um, <laughs> when you say more powerful magic, do you mean like, yeah, like what what kind of scale of more powerful healing magic are we thinking? Definitely greater restoration. Okay. For sure. And we... Uh, Janice, do we know anyone who would have any particularly powerful, potent healing magic? I mean, possibly the, the clerics back in Salt Marsh, but apart from that, I don't even think Boris had any healing magic of that caliber. Nope. Can't save them all, Brathar. That's, that's let's it's unfortunate. Continue it's... scout. Let's continue scouting, and then see if we can get him back after we finish scouting. I don't think he's going to be here, man. Here's what I think, guys. Let's just walk away from this decision. Let it resolve <laughs> itself. <laughs> However it goes. <laughs> and we continue let's scouting. Finish. Yes, let, let's let's finish scouting for now. Yes, for now, yes. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be I alive when my we cheese. get back. Let's go. It's at least a day. A day. Okay. If that's the case, then let's go. Um, he he sort of reaches up to you, Bratha, and he he says, uh, "They they made me. We worked. I I worked. The others died. Ah, uh, 
to, to left. Secret door. Find find it. Yes. I'll, and he um... just sort of slumps back down and you know falls unconscious or go goes back to sleep. It's very hard to tell. Yep. Uh, should we drag the bodies in here and seal it? Get them mm. out of the hallway. Could be a wiser decision. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, so we'll we'll drag the dead bodies in this room into here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You shove them in a corner somewhere. Yeah, shut them in the corner. <laughs> he obviously shut food. the dead bodies in here. <laughs> All right. And you seal the room back up. Perfect. Oh, no nice. one will know. <laughs> uh, Don't mind the tears on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Which way? Well, let's see if we can find that passage you was talking about to the left. So I guess we'll check out this hallway here. There's a little path down there. More pathing. Eerily quiet around here. Like you hear nothing aside from your own footsteps, which even those you don't really hear because of Janice's pass without trace. Hmm. No wind howling, no nothing, just very quiet. I think if there's going <coughs> to possibly be a secret door, it might be to the north here. No, maybe not. There's a, a door just here leading into some sort of room. Did Brathar check this earlier? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Are you talking about up there? Yeah. yeah. I didn't notice anything. But that doesn't mean that there's not something there. Shadows. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I didn't mean to. Shadows. I didn't see also, any. Why... You were entire maps. Why is know. it not restricting movement? I don't know. You've got it set, yeah? I do have it set. Apparently, I don't have it set. There we go. Huh. Ah, oh, no. I'm not accidentally going into walls. Wait a minute. All right. Um, What's this? Rathar, where you are, you can hear the um, the pickaxes again. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so it's I... heading back into there. Can I look at this? Yeah. Is this a door here? This is a door here, yes. Is it a normal door? It is a completely normal door that is not locked, so if anyone wishes to open it, feel free to do so. <clears throat> uh, can we hear anything on the other side? <laughs> nope. <laughs> do you have to ask? Can we, ch <laughs> can we check for traps? <laughs> Too late. Stolgik doesn't care for traps. <laughs> <laughs> Just kicks it down. <laughs> no ask, no plans. <laughs> Fucking barbarians, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love them. <laughs> the air is distinctly colder than outside. This room contains no furnitures, but around the walls hang various carcasses. Some spare hooks attached to the wall are unoccupied. White bones lie heaped in the north corner. I would like to take a hook off the wall and put it in my bag. <laughs> Alright, um, also the carcasses include a normal octopus, Two giant eels, a male dwarf, a male human, and eight lizard folk. All are fresh or reasonably well preserved. Litrix, I don't don't come in here. Hmm? What what is it? Nothing. Just don't come in here. It's uh sort it, of it stinks. Pokes nope, his head nope. in. I'm just like trying to push him back at this point, <laughs> like blocking his side as much as I can. <laughs> Just go down the hall and scout. Go. He he sees them. He looks at them, and he just turns around and walks out. Well, I did warn you. Oh fuck! Oh god! 
he grows. He's enraged. He's enraged. He's enraged. He's enraged. He grows. <laughs> Is there anything Is on there the corpses? Else of yeah. I mean, the corpses are, you know, prepared to be eaten. No, there's nothing on the corpses. They're just how you would hang a deer. Hmm. Does it just look like a butcher's shop, or is there anything sort of like ritualistic about the room? No, it looks like a completely normal larder, to yep. be honest. It's cold, it's, you know, it's just to preserve food, basically. Yep, okay. There's a, there's another couple of rooms up that we haven't had a look at. Where? Actually, um, Brothar. Oh, yep. Give me either... Religion or Arcana? Give me a religion or an Arcana check, whichever you prefer. Alright! Um... You sort of walk by and you notice that not all of the organs have been removed, but the organs that have been removed are usually the ones that, um... Sahagwin like to use in their rituals. Specifically, um, the heart, the tongue, and the liver, in this case. And don't at me, I know that the tongue isn't an organ. <laughs> There's, um... How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll mention to, to everyone. These aren't just for food. They've, uh, they've taken parts for rituals, I suspect. I'll sort of indicate the organs that are missing. Would I have any insight as to what those rituals might specifically be, or...? Um... It's hard to say. They are used in most of their rituals, honestly. Yep. Which could be ranging from good luck in battle to summoning, you know, an avatar of their goddess. <laughs> Great. That's what we need. There's a, there's another room up here which we haven't looked at. Let's let's have a let's What's investigate. That? I think we looked. Yeah, at there's here. one that. Oh. No, yeah. there's one more that we haven't seen. So I'll peer down through here. All oh. right. Um. Two doors accordingly. Two doors. Hmm. I'll, uh, I'll listen oh. over to this one here to see if I can hear anything on the other side. It oh. is completely silent. I shall do the other. As it is just two rooms, um, fairly fancy. One of them is still unfinished. <clears throat> but, um, one of them has a very nice mural of um, Sahagwin warriors defending an underwater city from a tentacled monster. Oh god, Stolgek, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> I've already seen it. <laughs> I'm leaving. Other than that, um, yeah, they are either for someone important or maybe for guests or... You think the image would have a value? Uh, it is on the wall. It might. Oh, actually, have on the wall some itself. Value? Yes. Never mind. So, if you can take the wall and manage to transport it, there might be someone who wants to buy it. Possibly. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Litrix got a pickaxe. <laughs> Litrix is very much not with you guys. He no. just left. Wait, where is yeah. Litrix? He's down the hall. Wait. The tricks, <laughs> buddy, buddy, old pal. <laughs> I'm like running down the hall. <laughs> the tricks, <laughs> buddy. Are you yelling? Stop yelling! Stop yelling! <laughs> no. <laughs> the tricks go. I. Do we yeah, find any might... sight of him? Are you very angry at this point? Ah. What's in here? Hello? Electric? 
Um, it is a large storeroom. It contains neat piles of hammers, chisels, mining picks, sledgehammers, crowbar spades, wicker baskets, sacks, and coils of rope. There's also a pile of light blue tiles. Hmm. Stalker, do you think you can discus these tiles at people? Uh, let me ask my inner monologue. Can I? <laughs> I don't see anything that's stopping you. <laughs> okay. Uh, just an idea. Yeah, sure, I could do that. <laughs> oh, Patrick, what the hell, man? Where did you go? What? What do you mean, what? You just walked off. Yeah, no sorry one... that I didn't want to stay there. There's no one man mission. You could have gotten us caught, fool. Well,. I'm waiting for you. Well, good. You'll keep waiting. <laughs> um, Brother, do you want to yep. take a better look there? Or are you just coming with the others? I'm having a, a little bit of a squeeze around the corner to see if I can spot anything. All right. You spot, you spot, um, two Sahagwin and a lot of manacled um, workers, slaves, who are currently working on the western wall. Does it look like there's any alarms or anything? Um, mm, nothing you can see, no. Rathar, I don't mean to alarm you, but I don't think these are just slaves here. I think I see some guards. Um, yeah, yeah. This is definitely a guard, and this is a guard who's just yelling at the, at this guy. Yeah. Uh, this guy yeah, is no, sort sorry. of, sort of just sitting on top of the stairs. Yeah. Looking. No, down. sorry. As in, like. So it looks like there's guards, but is there anything that looks like there's any particular alarms or a way down? Nothing or... like that. Um, there definitely there is a way down. Yeah. Um, stairs yeah. here. Okay. He's sitting on top of the stairs. So how many guards does it look like there are versus slaves? I see two guards. It's a hard one. I don't know if the Hobgoblin or the Orcs are with them, but I'm assuming not. No, they are manacled. Um, the Orc is getting yelled at. Yeah, so it looks like we can only see two guards then? Yes, for all I can see. Yeah. Um, just a lore check for this universe. Are uh, Orcs like normally evil and stuff and hobgoblins or um is it evil as in they are prone to attack humans they are not more evil than humans they just have very different <laughs> values i guess they don't see anything yeah. bad with killing humans <laughs> okay so it's, you can it's, see them as not... evil but they are usually you can reason with them if you try okay yeah so it's not a it's it's not a fantasy setting where orcs and stuff are innately evil. It's no. it's just like tribal culture sort of. Yeah, thing. it's just yeah, okay. it's just how mind flayers, I guess, technically aren't evil except that they like to eat human brains. Right. <laughs> orcs also like to eat human kids. You know. <laughs> I, I, I guess what I'm asking is and like, were evil? <laughs> As a paladin, would I be more predisposed to killing orcs, or um, in, in this setting, or yes. probably not? It's it very much depends. Especially orcs here are more; they are very tribal, but they usually actually stay away from humans. Yep. Yeah, okay. And Whereas if it was a that... mind flayer, it's like, no, mind flayer yeah, dies. Mind flayers <laughs> are very evil. Nah, but orcs are, um, some of them even trade with humans. They've sort of okay, found yeah. their, their way of coexisting. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. So there's like, there's actually room to negotiate with orcs in this world. Definitely, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's, um, there is enough communication between orcs and humans that half orcs don't get bullied too hard by either side yeah you know there are racists obviously always but usually half orcs are sort of accepted yeah okay cool well i guess i'll turn to the others and it's like shall we 
You tell me when and I'll take the shot if you ask. <laughs> yeah. I'll, um, 